Hi, this is Luke for Production Expert. Panorama 7 is a virtual acoustics processor for 3D spatial positioning effects for headphones and loudspeakers. And it can do things like this. Now navigating the UI of Panorama 7 is actually quite simple. So if I just go into my spatializer view, and the main view can be viewed as a polar viewer, or you can also have it in Cartesian mode, which is X, Y, Z. One thing to bear in mind that it is important to select the output that you're working in. Now creating spatial models for headphones can translate quite well to speakers but not always the other way around and that's due to some of the phase artifacts among other things that can be introduced with spatial modelling. We have our presets at the very top and then moving top right these are our direct controls which basically pertain to the plot to the left and then we also can generate early reflections and reverbs as well using Panorama 7's built-in algorithms. And then bottom right, we have spatialization. And this lets me blend between my modeled space, the dry direct components, and also bringing in the reflections and reverbs as needed. Now this type of effect can work particularly well with percussion, and that's because of their extra transient content, which can help the ear localize sounds more easily. So I can grab the break point, and just position my percussion subgroup off to the side or even behind to the other side back round to the front And notice how, as I come closer, we maintain the stereo angle, but the, all of the dimensions are adjusted accordingly. And if I want to change that apparent angle, I can go over here. So 30 degrees is the default, so that's subtending a 60 degree angle overall, but I can change that to make my apparent image wider or narrower if I need to. So on my piano, I can use that width control to great effect. So it's a good idea to check in mono occasionally. So if I just go wide again, maybe do a bit of this, and then I can just audition in mono using the audio plugin of my choice. So play it in stereo. So we're in mono now. Now, just going back to those auto panned vocals that sound like this. Going in a bit more detail, we can see that the sequencer I have set up has five slots and I can choose the direction for this particular fly round. Also got curve as well, which is kind of useful. I'm liking the sinusoidal one, seems to sound a bit more natural to me. But the thing that I'm really liking about this is if I need to, I can add some Doppler effect as well. Very cool and great for sound design as well. So that is Panorama 7 from Wave Arts. To find out more about Panorama 7 and to read our full article, 
head over to the Production Expert blog 